Okay, the unit cools down to 100C when in the stand, so it goes into sleep mode. You see the, the three hashes. When you lift out, immediately it will go to the set temperature. You see it's rising very, very fast. This is 300 degree air temperature coming out of the nozzle here. So with 305 to change the temperature, we press and we can do individual or we can press and hold and then the unit will go up. Maximum temperature is 450. Then the airflow is on the, uh, the bar here. So this is going up to the set temperature of 450. This is the airflow. So this is liters of air per minute that we're seeing. And you hold it in, you can go up to 6.5 liters at 450. And a range of different nozzles, different sizes, from one millimeter to four millimeter aperture size on the nozzle. Put it in the stand and it will go down to the sleep mode. The unit's very quiet. And then if you want to power it off, power off, power on, operate the tool. Second screw off and it is pinned. Very easy to change. using hot air pencil it's uh, usually advantageous to add some gel flux or liquid flux to the component being reworked and then uh, warm the component around and around when the smoke starts that's usually an indication that you're getting very close to the reflow temperature there's the smoke coming off the flux make sure the components nice and molten and you see the solder go uh, shiny. Generally this takes about 30 seconds to warm the component and get the component into reflow. You don't want to reflow it too fast as if you put it back too fast you can thermally shock it. Now you can see the solder is molten. Level the pads off so then it's easy to put a new component back.